Hello YouTube. Um, this is going to be part two of how to get Windows programs to run on your Mac. This is going to be a part two of the series that I'm doing. This part two is going to go a bit more in depth with what we talked about in the last part. So I'm going to already assume you've already installed this program and I'm going to assume that maybe you've tried to run a program once or twice and it didn't work and you were kind of confused but this should hopefully answer all the questions that you have that concern getting a program to work that wasn't originally working. And let's get started. All right, the first thing I wanna go over in this part two is the installation menu. The installation menu, you can reach it by clicking this install button up here. When you click it, this will pop up and it gives you a lot of different choices you can look at, all these pretty buttons. These are different categories you can go under games, education, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, you get the idea. So, and we have uh, different filters right here. Testing, no CD needed, and commercial. Um, commercial always needs to be checked. Um, co what commercial is, is it lets you install non-commercial and commercial software. So, if you just want to see non-commercial software, um, uncheck that. So it'll be like open source software only. But if you check it, you'll see everything. So everything that is commercial, non-commercial, and pretty much if you're running this program, you're probably going to run, you're wanting to run non-commercial and commercial software, both. No CD needed means that if you search something for, say, like Age of Empires, um, Age of Empires needs a CD. So if we check this, well, I guess not, but you get the idea. A lot of the software that does not need a CD will um, install. It's kind of stupid because, I mean, if you're searching for something that needs a CD, you probably have the CD anyway. So I recommend keeping that unchecked. And then testing. I always recommend keeping this checked. What testing is, it grants you the ability so that when you search, um, you will have different programs that may be iffy by the devs. They don't know if it's been completely tested yet. So if a program doesn't work it's not gonna work it's just because it's under testing and it doesn't always work so for an ex a good example of a program that's under the testing repository is Terraria here's Terraria um, it is a testing game so for example if I uncheck it Terraria is gone you can't install it because it is testing it's not perfect but if you do check it boom here it is and you can install it so, I mean, a lot of games are definitely under testing, and I always recommend keeping that checked. But a lot of the games that are under testing, um, you probably you really need a beefy computer to run them, just because they're not hard games to run for say on Windows. But for the um, the wine, um, for the wine for wine to run it, it is it just takes much more um, power than what would be needed on Windows. So, like Terraria, I've had um, it barely work on computers that have 4 gigs of RAM and a dedicated GPU. And I mean, Terraria doesn't even need 4 gigs of RAM. I don't even, I forget how much it needs. I don't even think it needs 1 gig. The graphics aren't anything impressive on there. But anyway, that's pretty much the lowdown on here. Also, um, forgot to mention this. If you need to pay for software, this is not a pirating um, software. It will not download programs for free. So, like, for example, Adobe or Microsoft Word's better. Well, yeah, yeah, Adobe. <laughs> Oops. Piece of crap. Okay. Um, here's Adobe Photoshop CS4. It's, like, crazy old, but unfortunately, you had to pay for this. So, um, you cannot hit install and expect it to install to your computer it's going to need keys probably and you won't come across a software that you don't want to pay for that you'll just say hey I want this and you're, gonna, you're not going to get it for free sucks I know but that's pretty much it on the install menu when you want to install software you hit install and it'll take you through the stupid easy install menu um, just don't be a retard and follow it all the way through okay the next part I want to go over is this configure button. This configure button offers a lot of unique and amazingly helpful things. 
that you would definitely need to use if you install a program that's not in the install menu, kind of like this program right here. But um, it doesn't work. So you install, for whatever reason, League of Legends, which is now Mac anyway, but a good example, I guess. And you run through everything. It installs, but it doesn't work. Something's wrong. So what you can do is, as I mentioned before, Wine. Uh, Play on Mac is completely based on Wine. It basically just it's a GUI for Wine, or a graphical user interface, or GUI. I don't know what you want to call it, but anyway. So, as you know, this menu right here lists all the programs you want to you have installed. So if something's not working, like let's say this program is not working, but it does, um, you can click it and you hit configure, and voila, this comes up. And it looks a bit confusing, and I got some like super crazy glitch going on over here. I don't know what that is, but um, what this is is a um, this shows you all your virtual drives that you have on the computer. A virtual drive is basically these all represent C colon if you know what that is the C drive on a Windows machine. So each of these have their own directory where one program or multiple programs can be installed. So this program will not be touched by anything that runs in here. So it's helpful for organization if you want to like have a Steam one, but everything in Steam. So like let's say you have a Steam um, directory or Steam uh, virtual drive that has Steam installed on it. All the games have to be installed in that virtual drive too because Steam is there and Steam cannot hit or Steam cannot. Um, affect any of these other uh, virtual drives. It's like having multiple hard drives in your computer, but they're all virtual. That's what, thus the name virtual drive. So anyway, we're going to go over to this one. So, um, as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of crap on the top, and you either know what this is or you don't. <laughs> Simple enough. So, I'm going to hit wine. So in here, this gives you all the wine things that you can do. You can open up a task manager and kill the tasks tasks that are going on in that virtual drive. So if I hit task manager, this will come up. And you sit here and do nothing for a couple seconds. And something will come up. Don't worry. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Here's the task manager. Looks a lot like Windows Windows XP's task manager. But yeah, I have you have like nothing running in here. But this is all the processes and you can end things. Like if something is not responding, you can use this task manager and end the programs that are running in play on Mac. The registry editor, unless you know what you're doing, don't touch this. Windows reboot, which is when a program asks you asks you to reboot the machine, you can re you can reboot it. This will not turn off your computer, just in case you're wondering. You click it and basically Windows kinda reboots, I guess. This will kill all the processes within that virtual drive. So while well, maybe you want to kill one process of a task manager, or you can just kill everything with this one. Wine uninstaller should be um Okay, this is what this is. Wine uninstaller is the uninstall menu for uninstalling software within Wine. Um, they don't recommend using this. I don't either. Because Play on Mac does it quite well. Anyway, this will repair virtual drives and then configure Wine, which is pretty helpful. What this thing does is this men menu will pop up and you can set settings for each thing so for example these are all my drives within my computer I have a C drive H a Z drive a Z drive which is slash a C drive which is the slash drive underscore C um, this is mainly for the com for the programs that are running you can also auto detect your H which will be the users slash Coburn, which is my name, or whatever your name is. If your name is Bob, it'll be slash user slash Bob. But anyway, you can hit apply here. It doesn't really matter. 
Oh crap, I didn't mean to close that. But um, configure wine can do a lot of different things. Probably the most handy thing out of all of them though is under graphics, you can emulate a virtual desktop. What emulating a virtual desktop does is this is helpful for programs that you're trying to not run in full screen mode that do only run in full screen mode. So mainly games like Age of Empires 1 that cannot run in a full screen mode. Uh, emulate a virtual desktop will let you basically it'll just like slap what looks like some crazy old Windows something on there. It's hard to explain. You just have to see it to know what it looks like. But anyway, so basically the program will run in there and there's no maximize buttons. So if you want the, it to be full size, you just um, make the ratios big as how many the pixels by pixels of your uh, monitor but 800 by 600 will give you a square on your screen that you can look at so I'm gonna uncheck that you can also um, do audio which I don't ever use desktop integration most of this I don't touch besides drives and um, where do you go graphics and emulate virtual desktop but it depends Next that we want to do is this, and this is where I mentioned that you can fix programs that may be crashing for whatever reason. This are a buttload of different things or components that you don't have installed. These components are quite important, like Adobe Air, D D3D Hex 9, or DirectX 9, Direct Play. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things in here. All these are uh, different things that some programs may or may not use. Like PhysX, very important by NVIDIA. Or well, not by NVIDIA, but you know. Um, it's kind of just loading. There's a whole bunch of these. But um, what all these basically do is if your computer is... Not computer. If your program is not running and if you don't know what the reason why it's not running is you can go hit the internet up like Safari down here and search why your program's not running I recommend using the words like under play on Linux or play on Mac and or just wine like why isn't um, Microsoft Word, Word running under wine and um, it'll give you probably some like Linux help tutorial because wine is super popular on Linux and um, but you can usually follow the same process all this is the same just you use this to install the components that you need like if it said you need to install direct play which I had for Age of Empires 1 to let the uh, multiplayer work so then you'd go down hit direct play and hit install or if you needed to install DirectX 9, it may pop up telling you that you probably should just install one of these because installing DirectX 9 completely is just overkill. But there are a lot of different things in here that you can get working under Wine with this. Display, honestly, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what this is. I never touch it, but I mean, if a tutorial tells you to, then go on ahead and do it. And... Um... In miscellaneous, the only thing I ever use is this. So if you need to run a .exe in here, you can hit this, and you'll browse the .exe you need to run. Um, I recommend doing this with Age of Empires, since the Age of Empires install wizard never works for me. I go here, um, I hit my, my disk, wherever that may be, and I hit the .exe, and I can run AOE. But that's pretty much it for this part, too. If you have any questions or comments, please put questions or concerns. Put them in the comments below. I will try to get back to you. Um, also, don't just put doesn't work in the comments. It, it This program completely works. I just need to know what's wrong. For example, like looking it up on the internet helps before going to YouTube. Or maybe posting what doesn't work and why. Like, if, does it crash, or does it just launch with some random black screen? I mean, I don't know. Giving me this doesn't work is lies, because I've had this work all the time. You just gotta kind of sit down and play with it. 
I mean, Windows programs were never supposed to run on a Mac anyway, so... But anyway, uh, thanks for watching.